Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your state representative, Kerry Condotta from Olympia. Moving into the fourth week of things now, and it is really amazing how fast things are moving. You would think this is a 60-day session. As you know, this is a 105-day session. Some people think it's going to get a lot longer, but frankly, uh, with the uh, events that have happened in the past week, I believe we can do this in 105 days. I want to start with a really interesting historical event that happened on Friday. There was a situation last week where one of our senators, and remember the mix in the Senate is 25 to 24, one seat majority for the Republicans. Well, one of those Republican senators joined the Trump administration and resigned from his job, making it technically a 24-24 situation in the Senate. Well, in those cases, traditionally, another person is assigned that position as soon as possible. It's a process we go through with the counties that are involved. This was the seventh district. There was five counties involved. They get together. Precinct committee officers choose three potential candidates and the county commissioners make that final decision. Well, to make a long story short, our, our friends on the other side of the aisle, the Democrats, decided they would try to take advantage of this 24-24 situation because they felt they could. And so they went to the floor to try to pass a bill and basically take over the Senate. And what was historical about it is all of the Democrats showed up 24, but only one Republican was on the floor, Senator Joe Fain. So Joe Fain defended his position against 24 Democratic senators. It was quite a show. And the fact was that the decision maker, the person that splits the difference, is the new lieutenant governor, Cyrus Habib, who stood up front during this and listened to both sides of the argument. Well, Joe Fain did a fantastic job of making the argument that 24 was not a quorum and that they should be allowed to reseat their 25th member. It was only fair because that particular region was not being represented in any decision making that was happening. And so the arguments came from both sides. They set it aside and the lieutenant governor had to make a decision. Well, this was interesting because the lieutenant governor had already stated that he was going to do everything in his power as a Democrat to stop the Republicans from moving their agenda. So we expected he might come back favorable to the Democrats. He did the right thing because the arguments were clear the Republicans were on the right side, and so the lieutenant governor found that after about four hours of deliberation came out and sided with the Republicans, and that shut the whole thing down. Since then, a senator has been found from the House. Shelley Short, former House member from the 7th District, is now a senator, or will be, sworn in tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, and we'll also have a decision on a new House member from the 7th at about the same time. So that creates a ripple effect, and since uh, Shelley Short was part of our leadership team, we have to go back to reorg in the middle of the session and assign new leadership positions. This is never easy. It's never something we want to do, but this is what happens when you get this effect. We'll get it all done this week and things hopefully will get back to normal. The good news is the Senate did introduce their new education funding program and it's pretty spectacular. It's a complete change from what we've done in the past. It's simpler. It's more forward thinking. It's more balanced. Most of all, it has a lot of incentives for not only teachers, but for school districts that do great things, that show great numbers and move forward. There will be lots of rewards and benefits for that. That's exactly what we need is an incentive-based system. It does require some tax adjustments and tax shifts. We'll talk more about that in the coming weeks as that bill is negotiated. Next week, we'll get deeper into this proposal and tell you why it's such a step forward and why it could solve our problem and let us get out of here in 105 days. Your State Representative, Kerry Condotta, thank you so much for listening. We'll check in next week.